What's going on, everybody? Welcome to episode 27 of our Wolves Career Mode, and today we've got three games for you. One in the Champions League, Moscow, in the group, and then we have West Ham and Manchester United in the league. Now, at the moment in the league, we're going strong. We're second, and we are top of the standings in our Champions League group. Uh, group we've beaten Ajax and we've beaten Lazio. Lazio only have one point after two games. Moscow as well. Lazio and Ajax are about to play each other. If Lazio can do us a couple favors there, then maybe after the Moscow games we may be, uh, you know, moving on into the next round, which is obviously where we want to get to. Beating Lazio very narrowly last time round three two. We are going to make a couple of changes here. Um, nothing crazy. Guendouzi's not. 100% fit just just yet and we are going to start Saiz there we're going to bring Moutinho into the team as well and I think I Nuri is going to grab himself ah no he can't he can't he's a little bit tired Nuri's not going to grab himself a start I thought about it but we'll give Potts a start so let's jump into this Wolves Moscow let's go played into the middle Jimenez and Triari is kind of leaking off that right-hand side. And that's an excellent ball out to him. And Triari swings a decent ball back. And Puddins gets a foot onto it. Can't quite steer it on target, though. Gets it out to Jimenez. Back inside, Neves. And he can see Triari making the run. And Triari's gotten in behind here. And tight angle for Triari. He's a good save. And Jimenez is going to get to it. And it's in the back of the net. And we've taken a 1-0 lead here on 36 minutes. A bit tough on Moscow. They've started very, very brightly. They've been in this game, but our first chance at a real break, and we score a goal, and that's what we like to do. But this gets out here to Traor, and it's a tight angle. It's a good save, and he's just beaten the defender there. He wanted it a little bit more, and on 36 minutes, it's 1-0. Oh, we got a big foot on that. And his Jagoev is through anyway. This 1-1 one, one in Moscow level it up. That's harsh. We got a big foot on that when we came across. It just bounced on. And Jagoev made no mistake. I remember seeing him in that Euro, Jagoev. I really thought he was going to be really, really good. Never really left Moscow, though. He was getting a big touch in there. Unlucky on our end, really. It's just... Ugh. It's just bounced away, hasn't it? And Zhagoev was through on goal. 44 minutes right before half time, And we're level. And Johnny can drag this forward a little bit. He's going to try and get it to Puddins. And Puddins has managed to sneak in front there. And there's a little bit of space for Puddins. And Puddins is on it. Can he slip it into that space? He can. Moutinho! Oh! Just past the post. An excellent break once again. And we just got to that ball out there. Puddins' pace. Almost grabbing us a goal. Corner set to come in as we look to take the lead here. And then Dunk is going to get the header. What a save. Uh, knew right when that came up he was going to get the free header there. He's got to do a little bit better there. He's just got to go to either side. A bit tough, I suppose. But this football, beat that. Beat that. That's unbelievable. And if you haven't seen that and you've just got this on the side or something like that, go check this out. This is stunning football. And Fabio Silva has just come onto the pitch, has a tap in with his first touch. And we've taken the lead here against Moscow. This is brilliant football. Lovely stuff. Just one, two, first time passing. Adelaide, Potence, and Fabio Silva combining brilliantly to give us a 2 1 lead on 68 minutes. It's a good ball out wide. Can they find a late, late equalizer here, Moscow? Looks like it's slipped in. Not the greatest of passes. We do manage to play the ball out there as Rene Adelaide slips that forward. And once again, that player has been really, really deep. And I'm not sure what it is. He's been way deeper than the rest of the line. But there's a minute to go here. Can they find a goal? It's going to have to come right now for Moscow. Oh, he's still held on to it. A nice tackle right through the legs. Can't quite win it fully. And they've been pushed back. And that'll do it. 2-1 the final. A very tough game. Moscow gave us a real good run there. And unfortunately for them, they can't grab a point. But we do well to grab three. And Lazio do beat Ajax. So that is massive for us. We're on nine. 
and third place is on one, and we are eight points ahead after three games. So that's pretty good. We only need one point from our final three to go through, or we need Ajax to Ajax and uh, Moscow to drop more points. I mean, that is a pretty good spot we are in. But let's jump into this game against West Ham. See if we can keep up our form in uh, in the Premier League. We're going to bring Den Donker to start. And then I'm going to start Bully ahead of Coop Miners. On the left-hand side, we'll get Ait Nuri. We're going to have to make a couple changes here, though the front three and the mid three look pretty good. Connor Cody's a little bit tired. Do we play Saiz here? Oh, Marcel who hasn't played yet. We'll play Marcel. Also want to get Hoover a run out today. So let's jump into this. West Ham Wolves. Let's go. So holding on to it. Finds then Donker. Lucas again. That's good football to Jimenez who has a turn and shot. And, oh, he's hit the post. Excellent effort there from Jimenez really. He's just made that half a yard. Took the snapshot. It's hammered off the post. Here come West Ham here. As that turns inside to Haller. He gets the ball out there to Wilshire, and no one's going to get near Wilshire. Everyone was just stuck on each other. And Haller gets the tap in. He's fired at home. It's 1 0. Not what we needed. Not at all. West Ham have just been holding on to the ball for long periods of time. And this time. It's through, and we just can't get off. We're stuck behind Allaire, and Allaire breaks away and gets into a really good position. 1-0 after a half hour. Not what we needed. St. Maximin does well. Hold off the challenge and keep hold of the ball. It's a nice turn here from Den Donker, Jimenez. And the run's going to be made there, and can Neves get to it? He can. And Neves, can he slide that ball across? Brilliant from Neves, and Lucas has missed it. Oh, he may not even have had to dive in there. That's a massive opportunity. Nice play forward, Jimenez. He slide that through, he can. As Neves turns, tries to slip that through to Jimenez here. Jimenez can slide it back across. One more. There it is. Oh, good save. That's an excellent, excellent save. Really good movement on our end. It may have been one pass too many, but... Couldn't quite get a clean shot, and eventually we did. Good save. Nice football here by Yarmolenko. And Yarmolenko's in. It's two. You've got to be kidding. We're finally starting to get in the groove going forward, and West Ham come back the other way. Make it 2-0. It's Yarmolenko's goal. We have not been good enough. This is too easy. It's straight down the middle there. Bali's kind of stutter step there and gets beaten to it. Yarmolenko holds him off. It's 59 minutes gone. It's 2-0 to West Ham. Neves. And Neves is going to try and push on here. And he can slip that out to Den Dunker. And he slides it back across. And once again, we've missed the slide. Why is that happening? Is that it slipped across? And there it is. I'm not sure why we keep missing the slide. It's very strange. But we've missed one there, but we pull one back. 2-1 now on 67 minutes. As Traore misses it, and it turns inside. We get one more pass, and he squeezes it through a couple defenders and the goalkeeper. It's a good finish from Den Dunker. And with 22 minutes to go, we're back in it. Bad giveaway by West Ham. Comes to Neves. And he can slip it across. Jimenez, one more. Nice play here. And it comes to St. Maximin out wide. And he steps inside brilliantly. And he gets it across. There it is. We've leveled it up here. Is there a small miracle here at the Molyneux today? It's 2-2. And there's 15 minutes to go. That's Jimenez's last action too. We bought on Fabio Silva. Because Jimenez wasn't impacting the game as much. And just like that, he scores a goal. It's an excellent finish. He had to go back to get that essentially his last touch is to bring us level is there a winning touch in this game can we get a touch we can one more out wide st maximin here and st maximin can drag this forward gets it out wide to fabio silva and st maximin can get into a really good space brilliant ball and there it is we have turned it all the way around st maximin with the goal it's three two 
And what a ball from Fabio Silva. And St. Maximin played that into Silva out on the left. Kept his run up into the middle. And look at this ball from Silva. First time. Squeezes it into that gap. It's an excellent finish from St. Maximin. And with nine minutes to go, we've turned it around in the second half. And it's 3-2. Here it is, a minute and a half to go. Can West Ham find a late equalizer? Are we going to come away with a very nice comeback win? And that's a really bad spot to lose the ball as Marcel's on it. Tries to slip it through to Fabio Silva. Not ideal. And West Ham are going to have one more shot, though we nick it once again, and that is going to do it. It should do it, at least. Blow the whistle. And there it is. 3-2 the score from 2-0 down in the 60th minute to a 3-2 victory. It's an excellent, excellent turnaround. And another three points added to it. We had a really bad time in the first half. We struggled as Manchester City beat Liverpool on the road. Manchester City, look up for it this year. But a bad, bad first half and a great last couple of minutes. As it looks like Coop Miner's development on his position change has completed. He's ready to be tried as a center back. So Coop Miner's development plan. We are set to turn him into a center back. And there it is. Center back. Tayun Coop Miner's. We can have him as a ball playing defender. Might as well. So is there anything here that really ups his pace? Sweeper. And defensive center back stopper everything except what would normally do it we're gonna go on balance because I would still like him to learn you know enough in midfield just in case we need to put him there but Coop Miners has had his position change but as you can see we're one point back of Manchester City we're four ahead of Tottenham but as you can see that gap between us Liverpool and Chelsea who sit in fourth and fifth is seven points already and we want to finish in the top four this season. At the moment, after 10 games, we're one point back of Manchester City on the top. But the goal, of course, is still finish in the top four. And hopefully we can do that. So let's jump into this game. A very tough one. Manchester United Wolves, we were just discussing the gap. If they were to win this game, that gap would shrink to five as they are eight back of us. Let's go. Here's Lucas. I'm going to drag this forward. Forces it in there. And it's good football to start here. And it's Neves. And Neves tight angle. What a start. And it's Chris Smalling out there. Who has kind of just let Neves run by him. And what a start. We lead 1-0 here at Old Trafford after a minute. It's a great touch into space. And an excellent, excellent finish from Ruben Neves. And on three minutes, it's 1-0. Back outside is Lucas. And now we can play it forward. And Jimenez is going to try and break in here. It's taken a little bit wide. But he steps back inside and goes. And that's an awful effort from David De Gea. 2-0. It's poor goalkeeping. He's just kind of like flopped over the dive. Not low enough to go across. It's an awful, awful, awful effort from the man in goal. But look at this. He just turns Smalling once again back inside. He ought to be saving it. He ought to be saving this. This is dreadful from David De Gea. You feel a lot of people watching this might have saved that one. It's an awful, awful effort. And on 11 minutes, it's 2-0. Taken off him by Gwen Doozy. It slipped into a nice space. And the run's being made by Lucas. And Lucas in on goal here. Lucas, 3-0. And imagine... In 20, what is it, 2020, it's late 2021 here, and the back line is still Chris Smalling and Phil Jones. It's dreadful from United. And we've just run inside. Matic can't keep up with Lucas. He's one-on-one -on -one with David De Gea. This is actually incredible, the start here. 3-0 after 15 minutes. Plays it forward nicely, and there's one more coming out to Jimenez. And Jimenez is going to try and get away from Phil Jones. Cuts back inside. What a save. Excellently done. Phil Jones beaten rather easily once again. But it looks like we're going to head into halftime with the lead as the header comes up in the air and is punched away by Patricio. 
little bit close to Lukaku there on the rebound. Corner set to come in, though. And the header comes in, and I'm not sure where everybody was, but that flashed right by an empty goal. Guendouzi, Neves, and slipped that out wide to Traore. And Traore with a great ball across to Lucas. Oh, we've hit the post there. That's brilliant football to carve open this United defense. Unfortunately, the finish was lacking just a couple of inches. What a move. That gets slipped in, and it comes to Lukaku, who's just turned me back inside. A goal back for United. It's Lukaku, who's back at United. Incredible. Incredible. If you would have told some United fans a couple years ago that Lukaku... I really rate Lukaku, by the way. That Lukaku... Phil Jones and Chris Smalling would still be starting. They'd they'd be having an absolute panic attack. But Lukaku here has grabbed them a goal back. He's just turned back inside. And I've let him kind of run off. As Lukaku also goes right off the pitch. Last thing. Um, I don't know who came on there. There's Bore, who's given us trouble in, I believe, in our Leipzig career mode. So he's flying around here, but 3-1, and we're going to try and make sure we don't collapse here, and what might happen now is, oh, Neves looked like he was going to have a free shot at goal, and almost did. Nicely played down. Here's Rene Adelaide. Gets it out wide to Neto, and Neto sees that run being made by Lucas. Finds him on the opposite side of the pitch. It's a nice ball. That gets slipped in. Lovely football, that. Pick that out. And not pick that out because it's a great goal, but or <laughs> a wonder strike or anything. But that is an incredible, incredible goal. The pass out there from Neto is excellent. The ball back inside is excellent. It's just touched on one more time to Jimenez. This is really, really good football. Look at that ball. One more time. First time shot as Jimenez puts it into the back of the net to end all doubt. 4-1 the score with 20 minutes to go. Here's Johnny in plenty of space. Slips back inside. Finds a really good ball out to St. Maximin. And St. Maximin is going to try and clip him. Oh, what a goal. That's stunning. And that reminds me of that Classico when Messi tried this. He hit the post. But this is an excellent finish. Are you kidding? Oh, my God. A stunning finish from St. Maximin. Wow, we're going to have to record that. I have to, because that was unbelievable. Let's watch the replay on that. That's an excellent, excellent goal. A really excellent goal. Look at St. Maximin come in here. Just stands up. Stands up the defender, and instead clips it right over David De Gea. Absolutely stunning. And with five minutes to go, we've hit a fifth here at Old Trafford. Can't quite do enough here. It's good football. It's Bore. On it here. Gets away a little bit luckily. And Patricio has to come up with the save. But we are going to come away with an incredible win here. 5-1 the score. Some great goals. That one from St. Maximin right at the end. Incredible really. And United turned over here. And our gap between us and them is now 11 points. I mean 11 points after 11 games. It's... It's a lot very, very quickly as Manchester City do win again. 3-2, so they stay top by a point. We stay second, and we will continue forward in that vein. So, as you can see, we only need one more point in the Champions League to go through after four games, which is absolutely incredible. And then, as you can see, we have Manchester City next afterwards so next episode it'll be 1v2 a team we've not really struggled too much with we've beaten them mostly every time so moscow city and villa will be next episode as we get close to a very hectic december period guys but that is going to be it i hope you folks have enjoyed it stay tuned for more and peace